Electric car use by country varies worldwide, as the adoption of plug-in electric vehicles is affected by consumer demand, market prices and government incentives. Plug-in electric vehicles (PEVs) are generally divided into all electric or battery electric vehicles (BEVs) that run only on batteries and plug-in hybrids (PHEVs) that combine battery power with internal combustion engines. The popularity of electric vehicles has been expanding rapidly due to government subsidies, their increased range and lower battery costs, and environmental sensitivity. However, the stock of plug-in electric cars represented just about one out of every 300 motor vehicles on the world's roads by September 2018. Global cumulative sales of highway legal light-duty plug-in vehicles reached 2 million units at the end of 2016, 3 million in November 2017, and the 4 million milestone in September 2018. Sales of light-duty plug-ins achieved a 1.3% market share of new car sales in 2017, up from 0.86% in 2016, and 0.62% in 2015. The global ratio between battery BEVs and PHEVs was 66 to 34 in 2017, up from 61 to 39 in 2016, and 59 to 41 in 2015. As of September 2018, China had the largest stock of highway legal light duty plug ins with almost 2 million domestically built passenger cars. China also dominates in plug-in electric bus deployment, with its stock reaching 343,500 units in 2016 out of global stock of about 345,000 vehicles. More than 1 million light-duty passenger plug-ins had been registered in Europe through June 2018, with Norway as the leading market with almost 275,000 units. Norway had the highest market penetration per capita in the world in 2016, and 10% of all passenger cars on Norwegian roads were plug-ins by the end of October 2018. Norway also has the world's largest plug-in segment market share of new car sales, 39.2% in 2017. As of September 2018, the United States had 1 million plug-in cars, with California accounting for approximately 48% of cumulative U.S. plug-in sales at almost 428,000 units as of June 2018. History The global stock of plug-in electric vehicles (PEVs) between 2005 and 2009 consisted exclusively of all electric cars (BEV), totaling about 1,700 units in 2005 and almost 6,000 in 2009. The plug-in stock rose to about 12,500 units in 2010, of which 350 were plug-in hybrids PHEVs. By comparison, during the golden age of the electric car at the beginning of the 20th century, the EV stock peaked at approximately 30,000 vehicles. After the introduction of the Nissan Leaf and the Chevrolet Volt in late December 2010, the first mass production plug-in electric cars by major manufacturers, plug-in sales grew to about 50,000 units in 2011, to 125,000 in 2012, and almost 213,000 cars and utility vans in 2013. Sales totaled over 315,000 units in 2014, up 48% from 2013. 
In March 2014, Norway became the first country where over one in every 100 passenger cars on the roads was a plug in. In five years, global sales of highway legal light duty plug in vehicles increased more than tenfold, totaling more than 565,000 units in 2015, an 80% increase from 2014, driven mainly by China and Europe. About 775,000 plug-in electric cars and vans were sold in 2016, and 1.22 million in 2017 up 57% from 2016 with China accounting for about half of global sales. The global market share of the new light duty plug in segment reached 1.3% in 2017, up from 0.86% in 2016, and 0.38% in 2014. Global light duty plug in vehicle sales passed the 3 million milestone in November 2017 and 4 million in September 2018. In October 2018, Norway became the first country where over one in every ten passenger cars registered is a plug-in electric vehicle. Statistics Albania Albania is considered one of the best countries for emissions for electric cars as it generates all of its electricity from hydroelectric power. Electric cars are currently used by the Albania police force. The interior minister claimed, that the cost of fuel per 100 km miles would be less than 120 Albanian leke less than 1 Euro. Cytaxi is the first taxi company in Albania that offers electric vehicles and operates a fast EV electric vehicles charging point, and have been operating in the country since 2014. Its goal is to replace 80% of all non electric cars with electric in the taxi business. In October 31, 2017, Tirana became one of few European countries to use electric buses when they tested a Solaris Urbino 12, with the purpose of reducing pollution. Tirana's goal is to gradually convert 10 to 20% of the bus fleet into electric ones. Australia Beginning in mid-2009, a 12-month field trial was conducted with the Mitsubishi IMEF with potential electric vehicle customers, such as government bodies and fleet operators. The IMEF remained the top-selling electric vehicle in Australia through 2013. The Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV, became Australia's top-selling EV in 2014 and remained the leader into 2016 with 2,015 units sold since its introduction. At the end of March 2015, Tesla Model S registrations totaled 119 in New South Wales and 54 in Victoria. Although no sales figures were reported for Tesla in other states, the combined sales of these two were enough for the Model S to rank as the top-selling BEV car for the first quarter of 2015, ahead of the BMW i3 46 and the Nissan Leaf 31. As of December 2016, about 1,000 Leafs had been sold since its 2012 introduction. ChargePoint is the only major operator of a charging network in Australia. Topic: <inaudible> Belgium. Sales of electric cars rose from 97 units in 2009, to 116 in 2010, 425 in 2011, to 900 in 2012. Of the latter, only 350 units were sold to individuals. The Belgian government established purchase incentives for BEVs, ending in 2012. 
hybrids were not eligible. A separate subsidy supported investments in public charging stations. Topic: <inaudible> Brazil. As of September 2015, 2214 hybrid and electric vehicles were registered in the state of Sao Paulo in March 2013. The first two Leafs were deployed in Rio de Janeiro to operate as taxis. In September 2014, the BMW i3 became the first ever available for retail customers. As of June 2016, other retail plug-ins were the BMW i8 and the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. Plug-ins and hybrids are subject to taxes adding up to more than 120% of the retail price. In May 2014, Sao Paulo City passed a municipal law to exempt EV, hybrids and fuel cell vehicles from the city's driving restriction scheme and purchase incentives. In April 2018, BY ID receives the largest Brazilian order from the city of São José dos Campos for 29 BYDE 5 BEVs and 1 BYDE 6, which will be used by the police and government. <inaudible> Bulgaria There were 560 electric motorbikes and 520 electric cars officially registered in Bulgaria at the end of March 2018. The government does not provide grants for buying electric cars, but at least it does not apply road tax to them. Parking electric vehicles in central urban parking zones is free of charge as well. The first car sharing company in Bulgaria Spark.bg uses only electric cars, mostly e up s and in early 2018 had at least 60 electric vehicles and expected to have 100 at the end of the year. Courier company Speedy uses 20 electric Renault Kangoo. Canada. Cumulative sales of EVs in Canada passed 47,800 units in December 2017 and accounted for 1.4% of all new car sales for December 2017, and 0.9% for 2017. The Chevrolet Volt was the top selling pay HEV, with cumulative sales of 13,619 units through December 2017, and the Tesla Model S was the top selling BEV with 6,731 units sold as of December 2017. An Edmonton, Alberta local ride sharing company, Tapcar, uses a fleet of BYD E6 pure electric vehicles to serve the Edmonton region and the Edmonton International Airport, purchase and other incentives for new EVs are offered by the provinces of Quebec and British Columbia. In October 2016, Quebec passed legislation that obliges major carmakers to offer an increasing number of pay HEV and BEV models, beginning with 3.5% in 2018 and rising to 15.5% in 2020, using a tradable credit system. China China is by far the largest electric car market in the world. Domestically built new energy vehicle NEV sales totaled 1,728,447 units between January 2011 and December 2017. These figures include heavy-duty commercial vehicles such as buses and sanitation trucks. Sales of domestically built new energy passenger cars totaled over 1.2 million units between 2011 and 2017, of which, a total of 579,000 were sold in 2017, representing about half of global plug-in car sales in 2017. 
Domestically produced vehicles accounted for about 96% of total plug-in electric vehicle sales. As of December 2017, the NEV stock consisted of about 1,385,088 all-electric vehicles and 343,359 plug-in hybrid vehicles Entry-level vehicles dominate the Chinese plug-in passenger market. The Chinese stock of plug-in electric buses was about 343,500 vehicles as of December 2016, of which, almost 300,000 were BEVs. The Chinese plug-in electric bus stock grew nearly sixfold over 2014 and almost doubled from 2015 to 2016. Chinese sales of domestically built new energy vehicles in 2017 totaled 777,000 units, up 53% from 2016, consisting of 652,000 all-electric vehicles, up 59.4%, and 120. 25,000 plug-in hybrid vehicles up 27.6%. Sales of domestically produced new energy passenger vehicles totaled 579,000 units, consisting of 468,000 all-electric cars and 111,000 plug-in hybrids. Accounting for foreign brands, plug-in car sales rise to about 600,000 in 2017. The plug-in segment achieved a record market share of 2.1% of new car sales. Three BYD Auto models topped the Chinese ranking of best-selling new energy passenger cars in 2016. The BYD Tangpei HEV SUV was the top-selling plug-in car, 31,405, followed by the BYD Keen, 21,868, and the BYD E6, 20,605. Through 2016, the BYD Keen 68,655 remained as the country's all-time top-selling plug-in car. BYD Auto was again the world's top-selling plug-in manufacturer with over 100,000 units sold in 2016. However, in terms of sales revenue, Tesla vehicle sales of $6.35 billion topped BYD at $3.88 billion. The BAICEC series all electric city car was the Chinese top selling plug in car with 78,079 units delivered, making the city car the world's top selling plug in car in 2017. The top-selling plug-in hybrid was the BYD Songpei HEV with 30,920 units. BYD Auto was the top-selling Chinese car manufacturer in 2017. Government incentives The Chinese government adopted in 2009 a plan to become one of the world leaders in producing EVs. The plan has four goals, create a world-leading industry, energy security, reduce urban air pollution, and to reduce carbon emissions. In June 2012 the State Council published a plan to develop the domestic industry. The plan set a sales target of 500,000 new EVs by 2015 and 5 million by 2020. Initial sales were much lower than expected, while most output was purchased for public fleets. New incentives were issued in 2014, with a sales target of 160,000 units for 2014. This goal was also not achieved. The Chinese government uses the term new energy vehicles NEVs to designate plug-ins and electrics. Only EVs are eligible for purchase incentives. The Chinese government has put forward the strategy of energy saving and electric vehicles. 
The policy measures of this strategy mainly focused on carrying out pilots to subsidize EV buyers, promoting charging facilities construction and accelerating EVs commercialization. On June 1, 2010, the government announced a trial program to provide financial incentives in five cities. A 2013 joint announcement by the National Development and Reform Commission and Finance, Science, and Industry Ministries offered a maximum of $9,800 toward the purchase of a BEV passenger vehicle and up to $81,600 for electric buses. In April 2016 the Traffic Management Bureau under the Ministry of Public Security announced special green license plates to facilitate preferential traffic policies. <laughs> Chile The Mitsubishi IMEF was the first EV in Chile. The first public quick charging station was opened in April 2011. In August 2014, Mitsubishi replaced the IMEF with the Outlander PHEV. Later that year, BMW introduced their i range with the i3. Renault launched their zero emission ZE lineup, including the Fluence ZE sedan, the Kangoo utility van, and Zoe City car. The French brand sold 22 electric vehicles in their first month in the Chilean market. Topic: <inaudible> Colombia. Latin America's first BEV taxi fleet made up of BYD E6 was launched at the beginning of 2013 in Bogota. These taxis were exempted from the driving restriction scheme. The program is an effort to improve air quality and set an example. In September 2013 45 taxis were delivered. The E6 fleet are part of Colombia's BIOTAXIS project. Another three BYD E6 were sent to Colquinches, Bogotá's Tech, Science and Innovation Administration. The BMW i3 was introduced in Colombia in 2014. The BEV Renault Twizy quadricycle was introduced in the Colombian market in June 2015. Sales of the Outlander PHEV were scheduled to begin in September 2015. As of June 2015, 126 EVs had been sold, mostly to corporate customers, and consisting of 43 BYD E6 taxis, 35 Mitsubishi IMEFs, 25 BMW i3s, 19 Renault Twizies, and 4 Nissan Leafs. 203 Twizies had been sold as of October. October 2015. In 2013, the government established promotional incentives. These include the exemption from the driving restriction scheme in place in Colombian cities such as Bogotá and Medellín. The government exempted BEV and PHEV cars from import duties for three years, with an annual quota of 750 cars of each type. Topic: Costa Rica. As of January 2015, the Costa Rican stock of electric drive vehicles consisted of 477 hybrid electric vehicles and 2,229 electric vehicles. Plug-in car sales totaled 108 units in 2016. The top selling model was the Outlander PHEV with 60 units. In 2006, electric cars were exempted from the consumption tax, while conventional vehicles faced a 30% rate. In October 2012, electric cars were exempted from San Jose's driving restriction. EVs were exempted from import duties and the government agreed to deploy charging stations in strategic locations in San Jose. The first electric car to go on sale was the Revi, introduced in March 2009. 
The Revi, powered by lead acid batteries, sold 10 units. The Mitsubishi IMEF was launched in February 2011, with initial availability of 25 to 50 units. In January 2013, BYD Auto signed an agreement with the Costa Rican Ministry of Environment and Energy to deploy 200 BYD E6 electric cars for use as green taxis. Retail sales of the BYD Keen plug-in began in Costa Rica in November. Retail sales of the Outlander PHEV began in March 2015. The BMW i3 was released in September 2016. Topic: <laughs> Croatia As of December 2016, 2067 electric cars had been sold in Croatia. Of these, 224 were EVs, while the rest were hybrids. As of September 2017, 201 free public charging stations operated in Croatia. <laughs> Government incentives In 2014 and 2015, the Croatian government initiated purchase incentives. The subsidies were discontinued in 2016, due to ineffectiveness. <laughs> Denmark As of December 2015, around 4,000 electric cars had been sold in Denmark. Denmark was the second largest European market for light duty, plug in commercial vehicles or utility vans, with over 2,600 plug in vans sold that year, representing 8.5% of all vans sold. Most vans were plug-in hybrids, accounting for almost all EU plug-in van sales. After the expiration of the government incentives, sales dropped to about 1,300 all-electric cars in 2016, and fell further in 2017 to almost 700 pure electric cars. As of December 2017, the stock of registered all-electric cars amounted to 8,746 units, slightly up from 8,643 electric cars in 2016. Sales of plug-in hybrids grew from 5 sold in 2013 to 572 in 2016, and 621 units in 2017. topic government incentives Denmark's sales surged before the expiration of its purchase incentives and plunged thereafter its plug-in market penetration plunged to 0.1% as of July 2017 In April 2017 the government announced a partial resumption of the credit while adding a new fund for fuel cell vehicles Topic: Estonia. As of February 2015, 1,188 plug-in vehicles were registered. Estonia was the first country to deploy an EV charging network with nationwide coverage, with fast chargers available along highways at a maximum distance of 40 to 60 kilometers (25 to 37 miles). As of December 2012, the nationwide network consisted of 165 fast chargers. In 2011, the government confirmed the sale to Mitsubishi of 10 million carbon dioxide credits in exchange for 507 IMEF electric cars. The deal included funding 250 fast charging stations and subsidies for the first 500 private buyers of any electric approved by the EU. The first 50 IMEFs were delivered in October 2011, for use by municipal social workers. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Government incentives. Estonia's figures are low compared to other advanced economies, attributed to lack of government incentives after the carbon credit scheme was exhausted. Finland As of October 2016, about 2,250 EVs were registered. Sales reached 854 in the first three quarters of 2016. Plug-in sales were slowed over range concerns and high plug-in prices. In November 2016, the government set the goal of 250,000 plug-in cars and 50,000 biogas cars on the road by 2030. These goals are part of the Finnish government efforts to comply with the 2015 Paris Agreement. Topic. Manufacturers Many companies in Finland are involved in next generation vehicle manufacturing, including Valmet Automotive, Fiske Karma and Garia AS Electric Golf Kart Production, Fortum Concept Cars and Infrastructure, Kabus Hybrid Buses, part of Koivistan Auto Oy, BRP Finland, part of Bombardier Recreational Products, Lynx Snowmobile, Patria Military Vehicles, European Batteries, Li Ion Battery Plant in Varkaus, Finnish Electric Vehicles, Battery Control Systems, AB, A4, Vaken, Electric Motor Technology Production, Enstu, Production of Charging Units, Elcat, Electric Vehicle Production since the 1980s, Production of Electric Car Accessories, Suomen Sarko Auto Oy, Produces Small Electric Cars, Oy AMC Motors Limited, Produces and Designs Small Electric Cars, Race About, Special Specialist electric sport car with very few sales, Gemoto scooters from Cabotec, Resonates Gemini and Janus scooters, Moto Bella Oi, Axcomotors, Randax and Visado. Research related to electric cars is in progress at the VTT Technical Research Centre of Finland and Tekas. Electric car organisations in Finland include the Electric Vehicle Association of Finland and Electric Vehicles Finland. A non commercial electric car conversion organisation is called Electric Cars, now, that converts Toyota Corollas into Li Ion battery powered electric cars. topic infrastructure basic charging infrastructure is available all over finland used for winter engine pre-warming because of its climate cold winters and warm summers finland is considered a convenient test laboratory for electric cars topic france The stock of light-duty plug-in electric vehicles registered in France passed the 100,000-unit milestone in October 2016, making the country the second-largest plug-in market in Europe after Norway. It ranked also as the world's fifth-largest plug-in market after the US, China, Japan and Norway. As of December 2017, a total of 149,797 light-duty plug-in electric vehicles have been registered in France since 2010. The plug-in electric stock consisted of 92,256 all-electric passenger cars, 25,269 all-electric utility vans, and 32,272 plug-in hybrids. The plug-in passenger car segment achieved a record market share of 1.98% of new car registrations in 2017. 
France was the largest European market for light-duty electric commercial vehicles or utility vans in 2016. Plug-in electric car registrations have been led by the Renault Zoe for five years running since 2013, with 5,511 in 2013, 5,970 in 2014, 10,406 in 2015, 11,402 in 2016 and with 15,245 units in 2017, totaling 48,582 units since 2012. The electric utility van segment has been led by the Renault Kangoo ZE with over 15,000 units sold through September 2016. In 2008, France established a bonus malice system offering a purchase incentive for low emission cars and a penalty fee malice for the purchase of high emission vehicles. In 2015 the government introduced an additional bonus for all electric car purchasers who scrapped a diesel-powered car in circulation before 1 January 2001. As of September 2016, the scrappage bonus had been granted for more than 10,000 purchases. Germany. As of December 2017, a total of 129,246 plug-in electric cars have been registered in Germany since 2010. The country is Europe's largest passenger car market, but ranks only fifth in plug-in car sales in 2016. About 80% of the plug-ins registered through September 2016 were registered since 2014. In 2013 Germany reclassified range-extended vehicles as series plug-in hybrids instead of all-electric vehicles. As a result, the registrations figures for 2012 and older do not account for plug-in hybrids. As of November 2014, the country had 4,800 public charging stations, a record of 54,492 plug-in cars were registered in 2017, up 217% the previous year, and consisting of 29,436 plug-in hybrids and 25,056 all-electric cars. Registrations achieved a market share of 1.58% in 2017. The top selling models in 2017 were the Audi A3 e-tron 4454, Renault Zoe 4322 and BMW i3 4319. Topic Government incentives Under its National Platform for Electric Mobility, Chancellor Angela Merkel in 2010 set the goal of putting one million electric vehicles on German roads by 2020. Initially, the government did not provide subsidies in favor of research. The Bundestag passed the Electric Mobility Act in March 2015 that authorized local government to grant non-monetary incentives. The measures privilege battery-powered cars, fuel cell vehicles and some PHEVs by granting local governments the authority to offer additional incentives. The introduction of the purchase bonus noticeably impacted sales only in September 2016 when registrations grew to 3061 units. An incentive scheme was approved in April 2016 including purchase subsidies, charging stations and another federal government fleet purchases, with a target of 400,000 electric vehicles. Premium cars, such as the Tesla Model S and BMW i8, were not eligible. As of September 2016, BMW, Citroën, Daimler, Ford, Hyundai, Kia, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Peugeot, Renault, Toyota, Volkswagen, and Volvo had signed up to participate in the scheme. 
The online application system to claim the bonus went into effect on 2 July 2016. Hong Kong As of December 2017, 10,666 plug-in vehicles were registered in Hong Kong. March 2017 saw 2,964 EVs registered in one month before first registration tax exemption was repealed. 2,939 of these cars were Tesla Model S and X As of September 2016, 6,298 plug-in vehicles were on the roads in Hong Kong, up from 3,253 in October 2015. The plug-in segment market share achieved 4.8% of new car sales in Hong Kong in 2015. As of October 2015, more than 1,200 public electric vehicle charging points were available. More than a dozen models were available for retail customers. Sales of electric cars took off in Hong Kong with the Tesla Model S in 2014. The tax waiver made the Model S competitive in the luxury car segment, at about half the price of other high-end models. According to Tesla, as of September 2016, Hong Kong had the world's highest density of Tesla superchargers, giving most Model S owners a supercharger within a 20 minute drive. The government offered purchase incentives to consumers, businesses, and service providers were available from 2011 to 2017. The government further allocated $180 million for bus companies to purchase 36 electric buses. <inaudible> Hungary In November, 2018 8,482 PEVs were registered in Hungary. The Hungarian government introduced its e-mobility plan in March, 2014. The Jedlik plan supported the domestic production of electric vehicles, expanding the necessary infrastructure and promoting the purchase of EVs with public incentives, including 1, 5 million Hungarian forints, initiated at the end of 2016. Iceland The plug-in car segment in Iceland reached 5.37% of all new vehicles registered in 2016, allowing the country to rank second in Europe after Norway that year. Registrations of new plug-in electric cars totaled 2,990 units in 2017, up 157% from the previous year. The segment's market share achieved a record 14%, globally, second only to Norway. The top selling plugins in 2017 were the Mitsubishi Outlander Pei with 884 units and the Nissan Leaf with 524. The government eliminated VAT 24% and CO2 based fees up to 65% on new car purchases for EVs as of 2017. Orca Naturana on was working to complete a network of 50 kilowatts CCS combo Chadamo stations along the Ring Road. Iceland remains the only major EV market without a Tesla supercharger network. <inaudible> India As of December 2015, over 6,000 plug-in cars were registered, consisting of 4,350 BEV cars and 1,660 PHEVs. The Indian government has FAME schemes and lower GST on EVs to encourage electric vehicles. Tata also launch electric buses to Himachal Pradesh Road Transport Corporation. 
the Mahindra Reva E20 electric car was introduced in March 2013. It operates on lithium-ion batteries with 100 km range for 4 hours of charging. In 2016, a new car, the Mahindra e Verito, introduced a sedan class EV at a cost of 9 to 10 lakh Indian rupees ex showroom. Revised and new variants P6, P8 of E20, now called E20 Plus offer increased range of up to 140 km on full charge. Indonesia The government supported some trial models made by Takushi. Conversion of some vehicles to electric drivetrains was introduced during the APEC meeting in October 2013. Ireland Sales of electric cars in Ireland increased more than four times in 2014 from a low base. The government committed to making 10% of all vehicles by 2020, a projected 230,000 vehicles. Government officials reached agreements with French car maker Renault and its partner Nissan. As of September 2014, purchase incentives became available. Italy As of December 2015 over 6,100 plug-in cars were registered, consisting of 4,580 BEV cars and 1,550 PHEVs. The top EV in 2015 was the Nissan Leaf 390 units sold. The government discontinued incentives in 2014 amid a limited public charging infrastructure and tepid reception. Further, many Italian houses were equipped with electric contracts allowing only 3 kW of peak consumption, making home charging of electric cars impractical. From January to June 2018, 42,273 plug in and 2,199 EVs were sold in Italy, a 130% increase compared to 2017. Japan As of December 2017, Japan had a stock of light-duty plug-in vehicles of about 207,200. Sales totaled 24,660 units in 2015, and 24,851 units in 2016. The segment market share declined from 0.68% in 2014 to 0.59% in 2016. Declining sales growth reflected the governmental and domestic carmaker decision to promote hydrogen fuel cell vehicles instead. Sales recovered in 2017, with almost 56,000 plug-in cars sold, and the segment's market share reached 1.1%. In May 2009 the Japanese Diet passed the ''Green Vehicle Purchasing Promotion Measure''. The program provided purchasing subsidies for cars, mini and kais, trucks and buses, including an extra subsidy for purchases trading in a sufficiently old used car. The program ended on March 31, 2010. The Japanese electric vehicle charging infrastructure climbed from 60 public stations in 2010 to 1,381 in 2012. Mitsubishi introduced multiple plug in vehicles the Mitsubishi i MIF in 2009, the Mitsubishi Minicab MIF in 2011, a truck version of the Minicab MIF, and the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV in 2013. As of December 2014, Mitsubishi had sold 36,386 light-duty plug-ins, the Nissan Leaf launched in 2010. 
The Toyota Prius PHEV launched in January 2012, selling 19,100 units through September 2014. Tesla Model S deliveries began in September 2014, Leaf sales in 2016 were 14,795 units. Nissan had sold 72,494 units cumulatively through 2016, making the Leaf Japan's all-time best-selling plug-in car. Sales of the Outlander Pei fell sharply from April 2016 as a result of Mitsubishi's fuel mileage scandal. Sales totaled 34,830 units through August 2016. Topic: <laughs> Kosovo There have not been much effort in by Kosovo of using plug-in electric vehicles. However Procredit Bank, Kosovo, became the first institution in Kosovo to use electric vehicles, by buying 10 new Mitsubishi IMEF vehicles. In 2017, 16s in the city Giacova, from BONEVET Makerspace, became the first European teenager group to build an electric car out of an Renault Twingo, transforming it from a petrol fueled car to a fully functional electric car. Lithuania <inaudible> 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 As of 1 July 2018 806 EVs were registered. Registrations were led by Nissan 50%. Also 11,198 hybrids registered in Lithuania by 1 July 2018. Registrations were led by Toyota 64%. Source, https colon slash slash summon dot lrv LT, LT, Vaiklos Sritis, Kita Vaikla, Pletra IR Innovasihos, Electromobili U Skasius Litavoya. Mexico In October 2009 Nissan reached an agreement with the Mexico City government, purchasing 500 Leafs for use of government and corporate fleets. In exchange, recharging infrastructure was to be deployed by the city government. The first 100 Leafs destined for the taxi fleet were delivered in 2011. As of February 2013, about 70 Leafs were deployed as taxis, 50 in Aguascalientes and 20 in Mexico City. Retail Leaf sales began in June 2014. Retail deliveries of the BMW i3 began 2014, the second generation Volt and Tesla Model S began in 2015. As of October 2012, no government purchase incentives were available. However, electric cars are exempted from Mexico City's driving restriction scheme. Netherlands As of the 31st of December 2017 there were 121,542 highway legal light duty plug-in electric vehicles registered in the Netherlands consisting of 98,217 range extended and plug-in hybrids 21,115 pure electric cars and 2,210 all electric light utility vans when buses, trucks, motorcycles, quadricycles and tricycles are accounted for, the Dutch plug-in electric drive fleet climbs to 123,499 units. The country's electric vehicle stock reaches 165,886 units when fuel cell electric vehicles 43, mopeds 4,376, electric bicycles 37,652, and microcars 316 are accounted for. 
The market was dominated by plug-in hybrids representing 80.8% .8 of the country's stock of passenger plug-in electric cars and vans registered at the end of December 2017. Plug-in car sales fell sharply during 2016 after changes in the tax rules. Sales during the first half of 2016 were down 64% from the same period in 2015. The plug-in market share declined from 9.9% in 2015, to 6.7% in 2016, and fell to 2.6% in 2017. A total of 42,367 plug-in cars were sold in 2015. The top five were all plug-in hybrids, led by the Mitsubishi Outlander Paychevi. The Tesla Model S continued as the top-selling electric car with 1,842 units. A total of 9,185 passenger plug-ins were registered in the first three quarters of 2016. As of December 2016 the Outlander PHEV was the top-selling plug-in car with 25,984 units, followed by the Volvo V60 PHEV Volkswagen Golf GTE Volkswagen Passat GTE Mercedes-Benz C350e 6226 and the Tesla Model S 6049 BYD introduces the first European BYD E6 in Netherlands BYD and Rotterdam the second largest city in the Netherlands have entered into a binding agreement that calls for BYD to deliver an undisclosed number of its electric E6 crossovers as part of the Netherlands Green Transportation Initiative dubbed 75 EV Row. Government incentives From January 1, 2016, all electric vehicles continue to pay a 4% registration fee, but for a plug-in hybrids the fee rises from 7% to 15% if its CO2 emissions do not exceed 50 g per kilometer. The rate for a conventional internal combustion car is 25% of its book value. The Dutch government set a target of 15,000 electric vehicles in 2015, 200,000 in 2020, and 1 million in 2025. The government exempted selected vehicles from registration fee and road taxes. The exemption from the registration tax ended in 2013. Battery electric vehicles have special access to parking spaces in Amsterdam, queues for which can otherwise reach up to 10 years. Free charging is offered in public parking spaces. Other factors contributing to the rapid adoption of plug in electric vehicles are the Netherlands' small size, which reduces range anxiety, a long tradition of environmental activism, high gasoline prices $8.50 per gallon as of January 2013, and some EV leasing programs that provide free or discounted gasoline powered vehicles for covering long distances. topic New Zealand As of September 2018 about 10,200 light duty EVs were registered The majority of the fleet 5,700 consists of used imports from Japan and the UK the most popular model by far is the Nissan Leaf, with 5,200 registered. The New Zealand government launched an electric vehicle program in May 2016, in order to encourage EV uptake. Electric vehicles in New Zealand are exempt from road user charges until at least 31 December 2021, and pay the lower petrol rates for ACC levies on motor vehicle licensing. Norway 
The stock of light duty plug in electric vehicles registered in Norway totaled 296,214 units at the end of December 2018, consisting of 200,192 all electric passenger cars and vans, and 96,022 plug in hybrids, including a significant number of used imports from neighbouring countries. Registrations Norway's fleet of electric cars is one of the world's cleanest, because 99% of its power comes from hydropower. Norway has the world's largest EV ownership per capita, with 21.5 plug-ins per 1,000 people as of July 2016. The plug-in electric passenger car segment captured a market share of 29.1% in 2016, rose to 39.2% in 2017, and achieved a 49.1% in 2018, meaning that every second new passenger car sold in Norway in 2018 was a plug-in electric. In January 2017 the electric drive segment surpassed combined conventional internal combustion engine sales for the first time ever, achieving a combined market share of 51.4% of new car sales. In October 2018, Norway became the first country where one in every ten passenger cars registered is a plug in electric vehicle. Norway was the first country in the world to have all electric cars top the new car sales monthly ranking. The Tesla Model S has been the top selling new car four times, and the Nissan Leaf twice. As of March 2018, the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV remained as the top-selling plug-in hybrid with 14,196 new units sold. The Nissan Leaf continued to be the most popular model in the plug-in segment with 50,000 units registered by early December 2018, including used imports from neighboring countries, and representing 25% of total all-electric car registrations in Norway. <laughs> Government incentives Norway offered incentives to help reach the goal of 50,000 zero-emission vehicles by 2018. Electric vehicles are exempt from all non-recurring vehicle fees, making electric cars price competitive with conventional cars. BEVs are exempt from the annual road tax, public parking fees and toll payments including domestic ferries, as well as given access to bus lanes. These incentives were to be in effect until the end of 2017 or until the goal was achieved. PHEVs have a smaller market than BEVs because they are not eligible for the same incentives. In 2013, the government reduced taxes for to improve PHEV sales. The initial 50,000 vehicle target was reached on the 20th of April 2015 at a cost of up to 4 billion kron, around 640 million dollars. The government decided to continue the incentives through 2017, although the parliament phased out some of the incentives. As of January 2018, 24 out of 58 major municipalities kept the free parking for EVs. Among the 34 municipalities that terminated the benefit, six kept different variants of partial free parking. In 2016, the government proposed its National Transport Plan 2018 to 2029 (NTP) with the goal that all new cars, buses, and light commercial vehicles in 2025 should be zero emission vehicles. By 2030, heavy-duty vans, 75% of new long-distance buses, and 50% of new trucks must be zero-emission vehicles. Pakistan Pakistan already has a significant market for hybrid vehicles with Honda's Vezel, Toyota's Prius and Aqua, and other models seen on the roads. 
The Automotive Development Policy 2016 to 2021 and the launch of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor (CPEC) are encouraging foreign investments for the new automobile brands to enter Pakistani market, while the leading manufacturers in the automobile industry in Pakistan are now introducing EV models with a wide range of prices which target consumers of diverse income groups. Several members of the international automobile industry including South Korea, China, and Japan also believe that Pakistan has a high potential market for EV technology, and local businesses are collaborating with them to bring EVs in Pakistan. On January 2017, Dewan Motors with BMW inaugurated Pakistan's first public charging station for electric and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles in Emporium Mall, Lahore. Dewan Motors had installed another station for plug-in hybrid and electric vehicles at Dolman Mall in Karachi on February 2017. On 2017, Jolta International had created the first locally manufactured electric motorcycle. The company is based just outside of Baria town Rawalpindi, and showcased three Jolta chargeable electrical motorcycles in Gwada. Leading automobile manufacturers, including Super Power Motorcycles, have started introducing EV models, while Neon, a Pakistan-based motorcycle assembler, has introduced an all-electric Neon M3 motorbike in Pakistan. The macho-looking sports bike comes with emission-free and noiseless features. Neon also assembles electric scooters in Pakistan. Topic: Philippines. The country's first electric was launched at Silliman University by Insular Technologies in August 2007. In some major cities such as Makati, electric jeepneys are used as well as electric tricycles, rickshaws. The Eagle G car is a Philippine BEV car at a cost as low as $3,000 to $6,000. E-Jeepneys were a venture of Renewable Independent Power Producer Inc., which sprang from Greenpeace and other groups, and Solico, which in turn is a part of GRIPP. During a demonstration at Nanyang Technological University on February 7, 2018, Nissan Philippines President and Managing Director Ramesh Nursimhan has announced that they would like to bring the LEAF to the Filipino market. <laughs> Poland In 2009 Poland began developing charging station infrastructure in Gdańsk, Katowice, Kraków, Milis and Warsaw with EU funds. In November 2017 an electric car sharing network opened in Wrocław. The fleet is based on 2013 model of Nissan Leaf. The biggest organization in Poland in the area of electric vehicles is Cluster Green Stream. The Polish company 3XE, Samochody Elektrycz 3XE, electric cars offer electric vehicle conversions of small city cars such as the Smart 42, Citroën C1, Fiat Panda, Peugeot 107, Audi A2. The converted cars have a range of about 100 km (60 miles) using lithium-ion phosphate (LiPo-4) batteries and brushless DC electric motors. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Portugal. In 2015 the stock of EVs reached about 2,000, consisting of 1,280 BEV cars and 720 PHEVs. EV sales totaled 1,305 units in 2015, up 260% from 2014. 
The top selling model was the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV 229. In 2009, Portugal worked with Renault and Nissan to create a national charging network. In 2010, the government offered purchase incentives for the first 5000 EVs and a separate scrappage incentive. EVs were exempted from the vehicle registration tax. These incentives were discontinued at the end of 2011. Topic: <inaudible> Romania. As of January 2018, 514 EVs were registered. Registrations were led by the BMW i3. The government offered purchase incentives. Topic: Russia. As of July 2016, 722 EVs were registered. Registrations were led by the Mitsubishi IMF. Topic: Singapore. As of October 2016, 129 EVs were registered. BMW was the EV segment leader. Adoption was slowed by high purchase prices, lack of public charging infrastructure and unclear national policies. As of October 2016, 74 public charging stations were operating. The government offered purchase incentives, although the country's taxation scheme made EVs more expensive than a conventional car. EVs face a carbon surcharge and a scrap rebate, along with the annual road tax. BYD E6 electric taxis operate in Singapore, forming the largest e taxi fleet in Southeast Asia. It is operated by HDT Holdings, the only e taxi operator in Singapore, in collaboration with the ride hailing company Grab. <laughs> South Africa As of December 2015, about 290 plug in cars were registered, all in 2015. The Nissan Leaf was introduced in October 2013. As of January 2018, this number has increased to 375, 0.2% of all registered vehicles. Gridcars is a Pretoria-based company promoting commuter cars, based on the Trev from Australia. The concept is to build ultra-light EVs, lessening demand on battery requirements, and making the vehicle more affordable. The Joule, designed by Cape Town-based Optimal Energy, made its debut at the 2008 Paris Motor Show, with a maximum range of 300 km .The country does not have government incentives or subsidies to promote EVs, although new internal combustion engine vehicles face a surcharge based on engine capacity. topic South Korea As of October 2016, about 7200 plug-in cars had been sold. 2896 EVs were sold during the first 10 months of 2016, up 12% year on year. As of 2014, all electric models on sale were manufactured by local firms. The top selling models during 2015 were the Kia Soul EV 657 and the Samsung SM3ZE 640. The Hyundai Ioniq Electric was released in July 2016. The government offers a purchase subsidy for electric cars. Starting in 2016, the EV purchase tax surcharge was reduced, although EV drivers see various fees. Spain 
The stock of plug-in cars reached almost 6,000 plug-in as of 2015, consisting of 4,460 BEV cars and 1,490 PHEVs. The top selling model in 2015 was the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV 389, 3,129 EVs were sold in Spain during the first three quarters of 2016. Sales continued to grow at an accelerated pace, up 79% from the same period in 2015. In 2011 the national government initiated EV purchase incentives. Aragon, Asturias, Baleares, Madrid, Navarre, Valencia, Castilla-La Mancha, Murcia, Castile and Leon offered additional incentives. <laughs> Sri Lanka As of September 2015, 2,072 electric cars had been registered, led by the Nissan LEAF. EV sales experienced a record month in September 2015 with 471 units registered, up from only 15 in September 2014. Sales of the Nissan LEAF began in 2013. No government incentives promote EVs. Electric vehicle tax increased from 5% to 50% through the new government's interim budget. Sweden As of December 2017, a total of 50,304 light-duty plug-in vehicles have been registered since 2011, consisting of 36,405 plug-in hybrids, 12,223 all-electric cars, and 1,676 all-electric vans. The market is dominated by plug-in hybrids, representing 74.9% of plug-in car registrations through 2017. Passenger plug-ins increased their market share to 3.5% in 2016 and achieved a record of 5.2% in 2017. As of December 2017, the Outlander PHEV continues to rank as the all-time top-selling plug-in electric car with 9,957 units registered. As of December 2016, the Renault Kangoo ZE continued as the all-time the leader in the commercial utility EV segment with 1,024 units. Effective January 2012, Sweden offered subsidies for the purchase and operation of 5,000 electric cars and other super green cars with low, no carbon emissions. The program was belatedly renewed through 2015 and again for 2016 with the addition of subsidies for electric buses. Switzerland As of April 2016, over 12,000 EVs had been registered since 2012. During the first quarter of 2016, 1,479 EV were registered, consisting of 773 BEV cars up 37.5% from 1Q 2015, and 706 PHEVs up 44.1% from 1Q 2015. Registrations of plug-in cars totaled 6,288 units in 2015, up 133.9% from 2,668 in 2014. Deliveries of the Mitsubishi IMEF, the Nissan Leaf were launched in 2011. The government offers no subsidies or incentives for purchasing EVs. Cantons can propose special discounts on annual taxes depending on the car's efficiency label and range from 100% rebate e Zoloturn to 0%. Topic: Taiwan 
Taiwan has a plan to ban all non-electric vehicles in the coming decades, due to concerns over air quality. The plan calls for all new government vehicles and public buses to be electric by 2030, ban sales of non-electric motorcycles by 2035, and ban sales of non-electric four-wheel vehicles by 2040. The BYD E6 has been used as taxis since the first quarter of 2014. Topic. Thailand Risen Energy Co., a subsidiary of Sharix Holding Co., is the importer and distributor for BYD vehicles in Thailand. This EV brand used to be marketed by Loxley plc until March 2015. Ukraine. As of 2016, 3,161 EVs and hybrids were registered in Ukraine. Registrations were led by the Nissan LEAF with 647 units, about 90% of EVs in Ukraine are used imports. During the first eight months of 2016, Ukrainians imported twice as many as in 2015. Imports grew to 1,550 units during the first eight months of 2016. In August 2016, Ukrainian officials started to refuse the registration of American EVs, citing the need for certification by European rules. To comply with the certification requirements, the cars must be converted from US to European standards, which includes the replacement of a windshield, headlights and other parts, at a substantial cost. <laughs> United Kingdom More than 137,000 light-duty plug-in electric vehicles have been registered in the UK up until December 2017, including about 5,100 plug-in commercial vans. As of October 2016, the UK had 11,903 public charging 4,215 stations, of which 696 were rapid chargers. A total of 36,907 plug in cars were registered in 2016. Sales of plug in hybrids more than doubled the sales of all electric cars. The plug-in market share reached 1.37% of new car sales in 2016. While overall new car registrations increased 2.3% from the previous year, plug-in registrations increased 28.6% in 2016. Registrations in 2017 totaled 47,263 plug-in electric cars with a market share of 1.86% of new car sales. The Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV is the all-time top-selling EV with 26,600 units registered through 2016, accounting for about 50% of all PHEVs sold since 2010. Government incentives The government offered purchase incentives via the plug-in car grant program beginning in 2011. The program was extended to include vans in February 2012 and in October 2016 to include large electric trucks. As of December 2017, the number of eligible registered plug-in electric cars that have benefited with the subsidy totaled 127,509 units since the launch of the program in 2011. In April 2014 and December 2015, the government extended the program with modifications. Eligible ultra-low emission vehicles ULEVs included hydrogen fuel cell cars, separately the government subsidized homeowners to install charge points at home via the 
electric vehicle home charge scheme. EVs are exempted from London's congestion charge. Topic: United States. Since the market launch of the Tesla Roadster in 2008, cumulative sales of highway legal plug-in electric cars in the US achieved the 1 million unit milestone in September 2018. The 250,000 unit mark was reached in August 2014, and the 500,000 milestone in August 2016. California is the largest plug in passenger car regional market in the country, with 491,000 units registered through October 2018, representing almost half of national sales. The other nine states that follow California's zero emission vehicle ZEV regulations accounted for another 10%. A total 157,181 plug-in cars were sold nationwide in 2016, up 37.6% from 2015, and 194,479 in 2017, up 23.7% from 2016. The plug-in segment passed the 1% market share for the first time in 2017, with 1.13% of the country's total new car sales, up from 0.90% in 2016. As of December 2017, the Chevrolet Volt is the all-time best-selling plug-in car with 133,838 units, followed by the Tesla Model S with 118,000. 1817, and the Nissan Leaf with 114,827 units. Sales in 2017 were led by the Tesla Model S with about 26,500 units, the top selling plug in car for the third year running, followed by the Chevrolet Bolt, Tesla Model X, approximately 21,700, Toyota Prius Prime, and the Chevrolet Volt. Together accounting for 58% of total sales in 2017. Topic: Government incentives. California established a program to reduce air pollution in the 1980s. Under pressure from manufacturers, the program was revised to offer only modest support of zero emission vehicles to promote research and development, and greater support for partial zero emissions vehicles Many manufacturers then terminated their electric car programs. The federal tax credit for new plug in electric vehicles PEVs is worth between $2,500 and $7,500 depending on battery capacity. Several states have established additional incentives. The government pledged $2.4 billion in federal grants to support the development of next-generation transport, and $115 million for the installation of charging infrastructure. <inaudible> <inaudible> Vietnam <inaudible> See also Battery electric vehicle Electric car Electric vehicle Government incentives for plug-in electric vehicles List of modern production plug-in electric vehicles Electric vehicle industry in India Neighborhood electric vehicle Plug-in electric vehicle Plug-in electric vehicles in Europe List of renewable energy topics by country